Welcome to this lecture about prayer. Dear friends, I am very excited to teach and discuss with you about how to witness effectively as a Christian to our Muslim friends. My name is Andreas Maurer. Let us look at the difference of prayer between Christianity and Islam. Sometimes, while speaking with Muslims, they are proud to emphasize that they pray more than Christians. Now we can ask the questions, is this really true? Is God looking for quantity of prayers or rather for quality? Of course, it is good to pray as many times as possible. And we are aware that, for instance, David in the Old Testament prayed at least seven times a day. We can see this in Psalm 119, verse 164. In addition, Jesus encouraged people to pray without ceasing. We read in Luke chapter 18, verse 1, where it says, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Now, what did Jesus really mean with these words? I think Jesus wants us to relate to him as much as possible and to speak in prayers as often as possible. But we can say just at the beginning that one of the major differences between Christianity and Islam is in Christianity Prayer should be in closed rooms and in secret. And it is a matter between the person and God. This verse from Jesus highlights this point. It is in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. When you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. In Islam, Muslims pray in public and want to be seen by other people. I have witnessed this many times while visiting Muslims in their homes or in their mosques. I like to share a practical example which illustrates this point. I once visited a Muslim friend in the mosque, since he invited me for a discussion about the different topics of the Quran. We had a discussion in one of the rooms in the mosque. After about 10 minutes, he suddenly said to that he must pray urgently and he disappeared. Soon he came back with his prayer carpet and unrolled it just in front of my chair where I was sitting. Then he performed the ritual prayer for about 15 minutes and I had to watch him. I asked myself, why did he not pray in the big hall or in the many rooms which were there in the mosque? It was obviously to impress me and to show off what kind of pious man he was. Perhaps he was convinced that Allah finds pleasure in such public actions. Now let us have first a closer look at the Christian faith. Throughout history, people had established certain personal prayer habits, such as we read in Daniel 6, Verse 10, where it says, He went home to his upstairs room, where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. Three times a day he put down on his knees. Uh, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God just as he had done before. As we see here, it was Daniel's habit to pray three times a day in the upstairs room, where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. 
However, this does not mean that it is God's law that everyone has to pray three times in the same ritual way, namely in the upstairs room facing Jerusalem. We must beware of making laws which God never intended. The Christian way of prayer is described in the Bible where Jesus serves as a model. Various examples of wording or formulation and posters can be observed, but there is no ritual order to be rigidly observed. Jesus practiced different posters. Sometimes he was standing, on other occasions he was kneeling. Jesus, however, left as a model prayer, the so-called Lord's Prayer, which reflects basic components. We can see this in Luke chapter 11, Matthew chapter 6. And the wording is as follows. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us into temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours forever. Amen. Prayer is seen as the greatest spiritual weapon and is made through faith in the power of the Holy Spirit. We read in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Christians practice personal as well as communal prayer. Various denominations have different emphasis in practice. The following types of prayers are distinguished. First, worship, adoration. Secondly, thanksgiving. Thirdly, confession. Fourthly, submission. Fifth point, intercession. Sixthly, petition. And the seventh point is repentance. Essentially, each prayer by a Christian has at least some of these components. And we also notice that the model prayer from Jesus contains some of these components. In conclusion, we can say the Lord's Prayer is the best commonly known prayer. Christians are free to choose their poster of prayer and the particular words. Christians are also free to pray as many times they like, but they are encouraged by Jesus to pray as often as possible. Christians are free to pray anytime, at any place, and in any language. Now, dear friends, let us look at the Muslim way of prayer. During my conversation and meetings with Muslims, I have heard many times the following arguments. Christians do not pray in the correct way. The only true ritual prayer is the Islamic way. The prayer direction must be towards Mecca. You should only pray at the prescribed time of the day. The prayer must be said in the Arabic language. Allah will only accept this way of Islamic prayer. Now we can ask the following questions. What do you think about this argument? Are Muslims really correct by assuming that our Creator asked mankind to pray in such a rigid way? facing Mecca and only at fixed time of each day and only in Arabic? Are you convinced that Allah will find pleasure of this kind of robot fashion way of prayer? And by the way, even Muslims are divided on this argument. 
since Sunni Muslims claim that it must be prayed five times a day, whereas Shiite Muslims claim it must be three times a day. Which group is now correct? I have asked different Muslims why their prayer must be in Arabic. Many of them have no answer, but some gave me the following explanations. They say, because Muhammad said it in Arabic. Secondly, because the Quran says so. Or, because Allah understands only Arabic. The Islamic prayer, the so-called Salat, is basically a rigid prescribed ritual of actions and words. It is a duty to pray and by performing it, Muslims hope to accumulate blessings from Allah. Guidelines for prayer are to be found in the Quran as well as in the Hadith. The Quran speaks on prayer in general terms, but it is not specifically written that Muslims need to pray five times Sunni tradition or three times, which is the Shia tradition a day. Sunni and Shia have more differences in detail concerning performing the ritual prayer. The basic words of the daily prayers by Muslims are as follow, and this of course, remember, has to be said in Arabic only. First, Allah is very great, Allah u Akbar. Then reciting the first surah of the Quran. Then they say, Glory be to my Lord Almighty. Allah hears those who call upon him. Our Lord, praise to be to you. Glory be to my Lord, the Most High. Peace be upon you and Allah's blessing. Concerning the practical way of Islamic prayer, the following points may be highlighted. First, the call to prayer, which is called Adhan, is always said in the same format, by the leader in front of the congregation. Secondly, Muslims have to ritually wash themselves in order to be fit and thus be clean while standing before Allah. The three or five daily prayers include the following prescribed points. Muslims may perform the prayer alone, but it is recommended that it is done within the community in the mosque. The Imam is at the front and leads the collective prayers. The whole community, men and women, pray separately, simply following the directions of the leader of the mosque, the Imam. The prayers are recited audibly. The words of prayers are equally prescribed and are to be spoken in Arabic language. The relevant posters are prescribed. Prayer has to be directed towards Mecca, otherwise it is invalid. Prayer times are set each day and are adjusted to the sunrise and sunset. In conclusion, Besides all these points which I mentioned above, I like to emphasize the main basic difference in which prayer is performed within the two faiths, which is very significant. In Christianity, it is a personal conversation between God and man, like a child to his father. It is a relationship based on love. In Islam, Muslims pray as servants to their master Allah. It is a work relationship. Dear friends, what is now your response? Have I made the difference clear? Do you have questions to what has been said? Do you like more discussions? I personally believe that the Christian faith is the true faith. I'm also convinced that the Christian way of prayer, as Jesus told us, is the right way. What do you think? We like to hear from you and please feel free to contact us. A book which I recommend you to purchase and study is the book I have written. 
The title is Ask Your Muslim Friend. The book has three main parts. First, Islamic teaching. Secondly, Christian answers Muslims. Objections. And thirdly, encounters with Muslims. Practical guidelines. In addition, I also recommend the booklet Illustrations. Parables, stories. This booklet contains many practical stories showing the difference in Christianity and Islam. These literatures are available in many different languages. We strongly encourage you to subscribe to our lectures and acquire our literature. In addition, I like to recommend that you consult different Christian and Islamic websites. See you soon again. Good day and God bless you.